Good morning, guys. I'm a maniac mama this morning. Absolute maniac. I slept in. Yep, my husband came in at 7.30 and woke me up. He had fallen asleep on the couch last night. And I have that little inkling of remembering my alarm going off and hitting snooze, but it's all foggy. So, it's one of those mornings. One of those mornings. Oh, just a minute. Alright. Yeah. So, long story short, I slept in. I ran around like a maniac. I even dropped an F-bomb today. Not to the kids, but yeah. It's that kind of morning. I just drove over to the, over to the dollar store because I cannot find my freaking clipboard and I need it today. And I want a coffee so bad. And I have a little bit left on my gift card. But the line is too long. Oh, Lord. I'm using a freezer meal today. That's one thing I want to sit down and talk to you guys about. So, anyways, I'm going to go in and get myself a new clipboard. I'm even going to get a new pen. Yes, I am. So, I'll be back. Okay. I'm out of the dollar store. I got my clipboard. They didn't have any loose leaf there, but I might have some at the house. I have to look. Got some pens. A couple other things. Now I'm in the Tim Hortons lineup. Yes, I am. It wasn't so bad when I came out of the store, so... Then I'm going to head home. Yeah, I would like to stop to the grocery store in, the, in Walmart, but I don't know if I'm going to or not. I just feel like I've been rushed already, and I just want to... I don't know. Not feel rushed anymore. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. And what time is it? It's quarter to nine in the morning. Jeepers. All right, guys, I'm home now. It's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be a beautiful day. Yes, I'm home. My Dollarama bag's still out in the van. My teenager is still home, but he's taking the van to school. And I caved. I called Dad. Not that Dad minds, but I asked if he could pick Maze up from school today. And Marquise can pick Maze up from Dad's an hour later when he's done school. So, yes, he said that's no problem. I guess I got another package. So, I'm going to open mail today. It probably won't be till later because I want to wait for that one to come. Because I still have another couple boxes and some cards to open. <sighs> I feel like crawling back in my bed, but I had that big coffee, so I'm not sleepy now, but... Oh, it's one of those days. It is. But I need to go down in the basement and haul out one of my freezer meals. So I want to try to use all of those up. And today is a perfect day for it because, yeah, I won't feel like I can catch up with myself until tomorrow kind of thing. Yeah, second day back to school and that happens. And we're supposed to get a whole whack of snow tomorrow. I'm almost guaranteed there's no school tomorrow. So, yeah, there's that. I want to make sure um, we're all prepped for that. So anyways, I'll be back. It's like, I don't know, 20 after 9 or something. And i got stuff to straighten up around here. But really, I don't feel like being a grown-up today. Yeah, when my husband came in, he's like, oh, Tracy, it's 7.30. I said, oh, F. <laughs> That's what I did first thing in the morning. What a way to start my day, huh? Oh, those words slip once in a while. But anyways, it got sorted. The kids weren't even late for school. It's just my own personal schedule. You know, I like to get up early and have a coffee before I wake the kids up. And Luckily, I packed their lunches yesterday. Yeah, the fire's out. I think there might be some coals, but not enough to keep it going. But it should be cleared out, so I'm going to let it go out completely and we can clear out the wood box or the stove and... The wood box needs to be filled up today when my son gets home and yeah I'm just being a big baby I know so anyways I'll be back all right guys let me just try to get you positioned it's 12 30 I need a spoon pretty much took the morning to myself and laid down dozed in and out didn't really fall asleep sleep I just had to have a little time to myself and I got up I just put the washer on I don't have enough to start the dishwasher yet but I just made myself a big cup of that uh, Yorkshire tea I still haven't tried that one yet and I'm having that now I was gonna get a tea cup but I need a big cup of tea just a big one so I got my big fancy mug 
I thought I'll show you my clipboard. I don't know. The other one will pop up. I've had it for years. It's probably under the kid's bed or something. I don't know. But I like the plain standard regular ones. It's only $1.50. Um, they have big fancy ones there, colorful ones, but I like just the regular. And I don't have any loose sleeve. I can't find any, but I have a bunch of these scribblers left over from my school supply. So I'm just going to do this and I'm going to make it work <clears throat> like that. Yes. I like clipboards. I bought myself. I like blue pens, but they didn't have blue pens like this, so I got black pens. Let's see how long. I usually try to keep on with my clipboard hanging up on the wall above the keys. But we'll see. I like heavy pens. These look heavy. <clears throat> Make sure it works. Yeah. So, yeah, my tea bag's still in my teacup. I did vacuum this morning, the TV room and the playroom. That was about the extent of chores, duties, mommy stuff. <clears throat> I did go down in the deep freezer to see if I have a freezer meal. I didn't have any. I didn't check this one up here, but it's full. And I should have did it a long time ago when you guys told me. I should have did a freezer inventory, and that's on my, I'm going to put on my list to do. I'm going to challenge myself this month to try to use up as much stuff in my deep freezers as I possibly can. Whether that's cooking it for supper or cooking it and refreezing it like freezer meals. I don't have a ton of stuff like I did before, I know, but I know I have some hamburger in there. And I probably have pork in there. And I found two Papa pizzas down in the deep freezer down there, like those Delicio pizzas. Could have used those today, but I still, I put, cooked up two big packs of sausages yesterday, if you see my video. And, uh, They've been eating them, but I think there's enough left. I might cut them up and make like a sausage chunk spaghetti or something today. But I did take out two packages of hot dogs that were downstairs. Bought 50% off. Not for today, but maybe tomorrow for lunch. I'm already assuming there's no school tomorrow. If there is school, fantastic. They can have that for supper. But... I was like, I still have other hot dogs down there. I bought a whack of them when they were 50% off and just froze them. And this is me kicking off using, rotating my freezer goods. So that's what I'm going to do. But I just wanted to talk a minute about my goals. I brought that mail over that I have here, so I'll jump into that in a minute. And I still have mail at Dad's. <clears throat> but I thought since I'm having a cup of tea talking to you, I'm going to put uh, January goals in this... I'm not going to beat myself up if I don't get all my goals done. It's okay. It's real life. I'm going to put rotate freezers. And I need to, before I even do that, take an inventory of what I have. And then I can map out what I actually can make or want to make or things like that. I know, I think the last time... Might have been for Halloween. Maybe not. I don't know. Mally did a bunch, or Mally and I did a bunch of cookie dough, chocolate chip oatmeal cookie dough. And we did enough for all the classes. And what was left over, we put in a container and put in the freezer. Like, I would just take those out and bake them all up. And that's a big square box of cookie dough out of my freezer. There's a bunch of deer meat in there, but I'll leave that charge to uh, my husband. That's, that's his his stuff. Um, so yeah, sort freezers. When I had that big Chinese, well, it wasn't just Chinese, mixed food on New Year's Eve, there was butter chicken, like, isn't, isn't that like an Indian dish or something? Chicken wings. I still have one box of chicken wings, which, there were Schneider chicken wings, and I didn't put the barbecue sauce on it that came with it, because we like our own sauce kind of stuff around here, but... Yeah, they was, everybody seemed to eat them, but myself personally, I didn't really care for those chicken wings a whole lot. They're okay, they're not the worst, but I wouldn't look to buy in those again unless somebody requested that. But I do have one box of those. I have one box of chicken balls left. I have one box of egg rolls down there. So 
sometime later in this month I can make a Chinese dinner just like for us not like hosting a big get-together or the beginning of February you know I, I need to have this stuff written down so I don't forget about it I know I have packages of hot Italian sausages down there and uh, yeah I did find a big tray of that mac and cheese that I made for my big fat Thanksgiving jalapeno and bacon mac and cheese but it's a big old tray of mac and cheese I wasn't going to dig that out for supper tonight. I would dig that out, I know, up here in my freezer. I have a spiral ham my husband bought at Costco. I would have ham and mac and cheese one supper and have leftovers for the next day. I feel a sneeze coming on. My sink's about to gurgle because my washer's going. But anyways, all, all, uh, all this stuff is going on in my mind and I want to I wanna get that, that moving so I can clear that out so it can be a bit more organized and uh, yeah start the year off fresh in the sense of I know what's I know what I'm working with I know it's not nearly as bad as I think it was this fall I did a whole great big freezer clear out and cooked up a whole bunch of stuff yeah yesterday when we had that turkey testrazzini that was the last one down there and I don't think there's any up here I usually put any freezer meals I make down in the basement deep freezer but I'll have to look I'll have to look but right now there's two giant speakers on my deep freezer out in the porch that my son got from a party that he, he brought to a party now they have got to a party and he needs to bring back to his friend oh just bananas oh, I don't know if my washers offset or what it's in there hula dancing but anyways sort freezer rotate freezer I need to go check that because it just stopped it must be too overloaded oh no no it's good all right let's get some of this mail open and I'll write down some stuff after and I'll show you but now I've got a clipboard that sucker is staying up there on that nail nobody's allowed to touch it but yes let's open some mail this will make me feel better <laughs> this one is from uh, charlatan uh, no, not Charlotte. C A R R O L L T O N, Texas. Carrollton. Carrollton? From my friend Paige W. Yeah, Carrollton, Texas. I think that's how you say it. Wow, Texas. No, I know Texas, and like, I'd love to visit those places. I like reading books that are based down, down south and shows and I don't know it just looks really cool oh my goodness what a beautiful card meowy Christmas and happy howl days <laughs> look at that and the little hymn books that they're saying and carol books are 3d like they're off the page <laughs> oh, that's so cute and look at the pom-pom it's an actual pom-pom oh the kids are gonna get a really big kick out of this this is like Medea's. She has two kitties and a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> That's them celebrating. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, and the snow on the in the background is like glitter. You see that? Kind of. Oh, there's a nice long note in here. Yes. Uh, oh, I'm just reading the note. It's time for... It's time for frosty weather, festive wishes, fun and family, laughter and love. Wishing you a Christmas that's positively wonderful and positively, P-A-W-S. Positively wonderful, just like you. Uh, yeah, from Paige. Oh, Paige, thank you so much. I love this card. That is so cute. That is so cute. I keep all of my cards. I really do. Every single one I've ever gotten, I have it. I keep them. I keep them. They're so beautiful. I'm going to do something with them someday. But I want to do something and add it into my Christmas decorations in the sense, even if I just uh, put them in a, I was going to say photo album, not a photo album, some sort of something the kids can look at it and keep it in there their bookshelf you know what I mean they can look at cards they love the pictures they love the stories we we create and you're right I should write down my stories sometimes because sometimes they're just little blurbs and then the kids fill in the rest and uh yeah anyways Paige I love the card and I can't wait for the kids to see it they're gonna get a really kick a real kick out of this they will and they got scarves and hats that match Christmas sweaters 
That's awesome. Thank you, Paige. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm feeling better already. I really am. No, Evie is at daycare today. I have to pick him up by 5.30. So I, yesterday I was planning, oh, I'll get up. My husband can drop Maze off. I can have a whole day. And I could, I was thinking I'd make a bunch of pie crusts so I could have pie crusts ready in the freezer. You know what I mean? Just make the dough and chop it up and wrap it tight and freeze it. All that stuff. But woke up late. Had to drive all the kids in. I get my husband to do that, but he's driving the truck now because his car's being fixed. So he couldn't fit all the kids, so I had to get up and, oh, lordy, lordy, one of those days. This one's from my friend Linda M. from Wheatland, Indiana. I-N is Indiana, right? I think so. Oh, and she has a sticker on the back. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Thank you, Linda. I can't wait to see it. It's neat when I get things from around the world and see the different addresses. Because here in Canada, we have postal codes. People in the States have zip codes, and you have no letters in your zip codes. We have letters and numbers in our zip codes. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think our license plates are different too. Like, we have letters and numbers. Do you guys have letters and numbers in your license plates, or is it just all numbers? I don't know. Just a few subtle differences between countries. Oh, this looks, this looks like Scrooge after he's come to the realization. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look at this. You know that old cartoon of Scrooge, A Christmas Carol? He's bringing the presents to boys and girls and Tiny Tim and surprising, uh, oh, for heavens to Betsy. What's his name? This little, oh, Crack, Cratchit, Cratchit, is that right? But this comes with a DVD. I think it's a DVD. Maybe it's a music one. It comes with a DVD. That's fantastic. Enjoy. I'm going to make sure I put this whole thing, card included, in my Christmas DVD. Yeah, it's a DVD. Classic Fables, A Christmas Carol. That's awesome. Wow. <clears throat> the card says, To the merriest Christmas, past, present, and future. <laughs> the kids are going to get a kick out of that and I'll keep that right in my box with my Christmas movies so we and I don't have this version I don't have this version I had like a couple of different versions but I don't have this one so that's great and I love Christmas movies my kids love Christmas movies and you know I I watch the littlest kid Christmas movies and still enjoy them myself all by myself like it, it's it's all good but the kids will get a kick out of this for sure and you can just see the sparkle in his eye I mean, it's not literally sparkling, but the joy on his face. He feels that tingle of magic and the importance of the celebration. Thank you, Linda. That's so nice of you. Yes. And added to the collection. The kids will enjoy that. Absolutely. Oh, I'll have to put that in in a minute. Thank you so much. I'm going to have another swig. Yeah, hopefully my son doesn't forget Maze. He shouldn't. He shouldn't. Oh, this card has, like, washi tape on it and everything. Look at that. Very festive. Very festive. Uh, it just has the address on the back here, so i got to see who it's from. Um, P.A. It's from, like, the state P.A. P.A. Hmm. I'm going to say, I was going to say, is Panama? No, is Panama an American state? Well, am I just making that up? I don't know. Or Philadelphia is a city, right? Like, that's not a state. Let's see. I can't think. I'll have to look that up. Oh, I love your handwriting. But from, with friendship. Lala and family. Lala? Well, thank you, Lala and family. Look at this card. All the red it has sparkles on it. Like it's, you can feel the sparkles. Noel. Let me know where PA is. Well, no doubt I'll look it up as soon as I shut you guys off because that'll drive me bonkers. But that's a beautiful card. Oh, that's a gift card sitting inside of a tree that a chipmunk found and wanted to decorate out in the woods. 
It's just resting in between the pine branches and it's sitting there with all the little berries and uh, pine cones. That's beautiful. Oh, I love it. The card actually says, may this Christmas bring you bright moments and warm memories to cherish all year long. And Happy New Year from Lily Bug, Bug Lane. Lily Bug Lane. Do you guys, do you have a YouTube channel? I'll have to look that up. If you have a YouTube channel, I'll put it down below. From La La and Family. Lily Bug Lane. L-I-L-L-E-Y-B-U-G-G-L-A-N-E. -L -L -E -E. That's how you would say it, I think. She has a nice, I just got to show you. What perfect printing. <laughs> My printing is butchered. I look like, you know, I'm just learning to print. Yours is like totally straight and clear and <laughs> mine is not at all. A nice note here. Oh, thank you so much. I'll show the kids this and I'll have to get them to name uh, the critter that put this in the tree out in the woods. It's probably right out of our backyard. Yeah, I bet you it is. And then they put it in a rabbit hole for the rest of the year and bring it out, you know, next Christmas around. Yes. Awesome. Lilybug Lane. P.A. Jeepers, that's, if I find it, I'll probably put it down below here so you can see. I can't think. Uh, two more cards, and then I got a couple of boxes here. Oh, I can't see who this is from. From Portsmouth RL, Rhode Island. I think that's right. Am I right? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I love that color blue. Oh, that present there. And there's a sticker down there too. That's kind of the color of Cornelius. My stand mixer. My sister named first Christmas I got it, and he, that name stuck. So he's named Cornelius for that reason. Thanks, Carrie. <laughs> it suits him though. It does. Oh, what a pretty tree. Yeah, that one's out in space. That's what a Christmas tree floating in space would look like during the daytime. Now I know it's not white like that out in the daytime, but in my mind it can be. And all the stars come together to celebrate Christmas. And there's one of those stereotypical little Martian alien ships that look like a, a plate with a little bubble on top soaring around. And this is in the space town square. That's where this tree is. Yeah, all the fancy blinking lights. Yes, there's even, oh. Oh, this is a list of all the states. Now, how appropriate is this? Let me see. I'm sorry. i got to go back to what is PA? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. <laughs> yes, Panama isn't even, yeah. I know you guys have different states not right attached to you, like Alaska's up here in Canada, but it's the states and Guam is not right attached to you, and Hawaii's not right attached to you. And I was like, no, Pennsylvania. <laughs> so Lilybug is from Pennsylvania. Oh my goodness, who was this from? From Susan. Susan, this, <laughs> I gotta put this on my bulletin board. <laughs> so I'll know, because I'm guessing most of the time, you guys know this, I make mistakes all the time. PA is Pennsylvania. The card actually says, a season of joy like Christmas brings thoughts of special people like you. Oh, thank you, Susan. Thank you so much. There it is. Do you see the spaceship? No, he goes too fast. We can't see it, but he can see us. <laughs> I'm going to keep this out because that's going up on my bulletin board. I still got to hang my beautiful peace sign that I got the other day up there. But that's one thing I want to put on my list for January is to clear off my bulletin board and get my get my act together around here because I'm feeling like I'm not together but that's okay I pull through day by day just take everything day by day all right that's so funny like that that's the perfect timing that's what I needed uh this one is I don't know the name uh but the address is Marion Indiana I think it looks like an it looks like an I-N, but it could be an I-W. Is I-W a place? <sighs> and I should see, yeah, I-N is Indiana. I don't see an I-W. 
you learn all these, I learned all the states in school, but then I forget, I forget. <laughs> ah. Let me see whose name is written on this so I know, for, know who. And the stamps look like they had two birds on it, but the post office put a, a stamp over it. I-L. It's I-L. Because I see here. What's I-L? Illinois? Yeah, Illinois. Illinois, I got it. <laughs> Susan, this is going to come. It's so handy. <laughs> you know me so well. You do. I think there might be... Oh, there's some tea in there. I would have had one of these tea. I need to get some of my other tea bags. That was just the Yorkshire tea, which is delicious, by the way. It was just right in my cupboard, so that I just got that one. Christmas blessings. May you know the joy that comes from his love filling you with peace. It's true. It's so true. i got to remember, in times of chaos, there's always light. In times of darkness, there's always a glint of light. You just need to look for it. It's easy to just look at the dark, but look at, find the light, because the light is always there. Yes. Beautiful. This would be on a mantle somewhere in a nice Victorian house. Ladies dressed in all those pretty fancy dresses and their hair and those fancy hairdos and like heart shaped and stuff. Yeah, those that's where this candle is. I wonder if they're hmm. I'd make up something. Yeah, I would talk about the punch that's at their party because it probably has orange orange slices and berries in it. Yeah. That's beautiful. Inside the card, it actually says, Wishing you the light of his love this Christmas and all through the coming year. From Lucy. Blessings, Roberta, a.k.a. Lucy. Okay, well, Roberta, or Lucy, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, I think I see Lucy on um, Lucy DePie, De Poe, I'm not sure. Uh comment or maybe it's Roberta mm, I forget now but this is fantastic I like how they have the border above and below there the fancy yeah that's what would be on an official invitation to the Christmas get-together that this is at sitting on the fire mantle place yes yeah that's great thank you so much and the tea she sent me this is Bigelow Family tea blender since 1945. Cozy chamomile, which I probably could have used right now. Uh, pure chamomile flowers for quiet moments. Ah, oh, zen. Yes. <laughs> That's one. It says, we hope your our tea delights you, the Bigelow family. Steep four minutes, ingredients, chamomile flowers. Tea is a gluten-free beverage. All right, this one is, again, Bigelow family tea, pomegranate, Pizzazz. Ooh, sweet and tangy, bursting with fruity pomegranate flavor. Caffeine free. Oh, I'll have to have that one. This one I would have had today. This one I'd have probably in the morning when I need a little zip and I have a pep in my step and I want it to continue. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Lucy. Get your shoes on, shoes on, Lucy. Don't you know we're in the city? Mom used to say that, sing that. Ah, thank you. Thank you so much, you fellas. You fellers, yes, thank you. I got a couple of boxes here we're gonna open, but this just is turning my day around. It really is, it really is. Just what I needed. I could have opened these yesterday, but it was just one of those kind of days. I'm so glad I saved it for today. It's just me and you here. It's just me and you here. I'm taking it easy. Yeah, I'm taking it easy. Talking to you guys, opening some friend mail, having a cup of tea. I can be Miss Smarty Pants now that I have this. But you guys know the real deal. I'm not that smart. <laughs> Let's see. This one is from Flossie. Flossie is from... A-L-A, -A, Alabama, I believe. Now I'm always going to check this. Well, A-L it says on it for Alabama, but I'm thinking that's where it's from. Yeah. It's all taped up tighter than a drum. Ooh. 
Well, at least my washer isn't knocking the walls or anything. I don't have a whole lot of laundry to wash now. I might end up washing one of the kids' beddings now, like today. We'll see, because I don't have a lot of clothes. But I just went around and picked... Well, for heaven's sakes. Get that out, because I don't want to ruin it. And I don't want to this in all the way. Okay. Now we're cooking. Oh, there's a card here. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is fantastic. Fantastic. I see something in there. Flossy tea from Bay Minette. I'm thinking it's Alabama. Oh, what a beautiful card. Wishing you peace, love, and joy. Look at this card. And this little thing is like off the page. Look how smooth and bright. And the church bell's actually ringing in this. Can't you hear it? I can hear it. It's ringing with joy. And the two doves up there. And it's snowing nice. It's just on Christmas Eve, right before uh, you go in to mass. Oh, and there's a ribbon on here. I just noticed that. See this ribbon? That's a fancy dancy. It's a, there's a wreath on the back. <coughs> oh, yes, my fave. Got a card, or a letter. The card actually says, uh, may the blessings of the season be yours now and always. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a New Year full of promise. From Alabama, yes. From Nanny and Papa and Flossie in quotations. Thank you so much, Flossie. I'd give you a big old smooch. Yes, I would. Thank you so much. This is fantastic. This is beautiful. I'll ask the kids if they can hear that bell. you got to just be really quiet. Just like you can hear uh, the ocean in a seashell in a conch. You guys ever listen to one of those? My grandma used to have a great big one at her house. We'd listen. And you could hear the ocean. You listened hard enough. Yeah. Oh, let's, let's see. I see this. I got another one. I'm excited. I usually buy things in twos or threes. You guys know this. I have umpteen plastic rinky dink sh spoons, a few wooden spoons. I need to buy another whisk. Now I have two of these and oh, that's perfect because I was still going to be on the hunt for one because I, I go through stuff and I'm I'm not hard on stuff, but I use stuff. I use stuff like I think it's supposed to be used. And this is fantastic. Thank you so much. I got room in my drawer. Now I have two. I'm sitting pretty. I am sitting pretty. Yes, I am. Absolutely. Hamburger chopper. Yes. Awesome. Thank you, Flossie. I'm going to be using it. I'm thinking, oh... You might think, oh, well, you can get that. No, I'm using it. I'm using them all. I'm using them. Look at... Pot holders with a little snowman. A brand new one for next season. I want to use these now, but I probably won't. I'll put those up with my Christmas stuff. So when I open it, I'll be like, yes, perfect for the new season. A tea towel to match. It says, let it snow. Has that little Christmas truck in the back snowman and an oven mitt Ooh, my cat kitchen's gonna be off uh, off the hook next christmas yes i got a couple of christmas uh hand towels like for the bathroom this year i got some stuff for the kitchen this year oh but, oh lordy lordy i am gonna make my green drinks in this it has a freaking butterfly on it. That's beautiful. And it's real glass. It's not one of these plastic ones. It's a glass one. You look at the top. It has flowers on it. I'm going to have to fight the kids off with this. This is going to be my special power juice drink thing. Because I just use a mason jar because I make a great big one. Now i got a great big fancy one. And Mom's going to be in it too. It's going to be made with love. That's a little paper in here 
Oh, is it Pioneer Woman? I don't have any Pioneer Woman stuff. Oh, it says right on the tag. I don't have any Pioneer Woman stuff. She has beautiful stuff, but I don't have any. <laughs> now I do. Oh, wow. Oh, Flossie, I really would give you a big old smooch. Yes, I would. And it has a recipe for blueberry syrup, or blueberry lemonade. There's blueberry syrup and lemonade. And the directions, the Pioneer Woman. Welcome to my frontier. Well, welcome to my Nova Scotia frontier. <laughs> Bayside frontier. Oh, Flossie, thank you so much. I'm excited. Oh, on the back it says, simple homemade goodness. On the front is the big butterfly. And it says there with the little butterflies around it. Yes, you guys can see me sipping on this, can't you? Oh, yes. I'm excited. I, yeah, I'm living the high life now. I got a pioneer woman something or other. I know she has some beautiful serving dishes and like regular dishes and probably utensils. I don't know. They probably have a few things at Walmart. I don't know. But now I got this. If I had seen this someday, this is the exact one I would pick out. The color's beautiful. The butterfly's beautiful. It has a straw, a reusable straw. And the colors on top. This is great. When I'm not using it, I'm going to set it right on my windowsill because I think Cornelius is going to be friends with this. Uh, I have to make up a name for her. This is a girl. I'm going to have to make up a name for her. Uh, and he's probably going to have a crush on her because, you know, she's kind of beautiful. You know, she's probably beautiful inside too. Yeah. Thank you so much. I can't believe you sent that all the way from Alabama. Big old uh, bubble wrap the kids will like. I'll just wash that up, and that is going right in my utensil drawer. It is, absolutely. I won't put this stuff in there. I'm going to put it right up in one of my Christmas tubs. Just, it'll be a nice surprise, because not that I'm going to forget about you, but, you know, as the year goes on, I'll open it. Oh, yeah, I got new, new stuff to use. Baking Christmas cookies, you know. I still never ended up making that gingerbread like I had planned on. I know I told you I wanted to make it. But I've got one more to open. And if I don't open that one from Dad's house today, I can open it tomorrow. I just thought, I want to sit down and have a yarn over the kitchen table. And you guys are the best people to have the air. Oh, I didn't even look where this one is from. This one's from Houston, Texas. Another one from Texas. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, they're wrapped. There's stuff in here. Well, here's one that's not wrapped. It has two Tracy holiday inspiration. <laughs> There's a bunch of presents in there wrapped, I'll show you. What is this? This is what it looks like. It's tied with a ribbon. I'm going to take it off. Taste of Christmas Candy Cane Cookbook. An inspiration for the season. They're cute little books. Look at that. Candy Cane Cookbook and Walking in a Winter Candy Land. Those squares look delicious, don't they? Oh my lordy lordy. Who is this from? Carol? I just want to make sure there's a card in here. Usually I like to open cards first. Ooh, that. Oh, there is a card down there. I'm sorry. It's down at the bottom. This, though, I'm going to look at these today. And they're just simple straightforward don't look like it's too complicated so I won't mess it up hopefully you know how I mess things up sometimes but nobody's nerfect so yeah uh, cinnamon oh fresh raspberry bark candy confections oh this is great Mally's probably gonna really look at this too because she likes to experiment oh and there is uh, Bible verses like at the beginning of each chapter down there for he himself is our peace uh, let me find another one 
that's great. Well, that wasn't was a Bible one. This one is from Frank McKibben. This is Christmas, not the tinsel, not the giving and receiving, not even the carols, but the humble heart that receives anew the wondrous gift, the Christ, Frank McKibben. What a great quote. That's wonderful. In the back it says, in, it's beginning to taste a lot like Christmas. This fabulous collection of holiday recipes is overflowing with dozens of tasty ideas and inspiration for candy lovers. It's a carnival of sweet candy loving bliss. That's great. I think this must be the same. Ooh, these are more colorful pages. You can see the red and the pictures of the... Yeah. But they seem like... They look like fairly straightforward recipes. This is another Bible one. Matthew 2.11. When they were come... When they were come into the house, they saw a young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. Matthew 2.11. This is fantastic. This is the same thing on the back. Oh, no, it doesn't. This Christmas... Christmassy recipe collection features dozens of ideas for infusing everything from traditional holiday fudge to cakes, pies, cookies, and more with festive flavor of candy canes. Ah, oh, that's great. All right. <coughs> I should have opened the card first. I'm sorry. And then there's presents in there. I'll have to get the kids to open when they come home. I'm assuming they're for the kids. Oh, peace, love, and candy canes. Ain't that right, sister? Candy kings are made into a heart. <laughs> that card says, it just doesn't get any sweeter than Christmas. Mm-hmm. Carol Kay. Carol Kay from Houston, Texas. There's a nice note in here she wrote. I'll read that after. Uh, oh, she says something. Love hearing Chesterfield and seeing Smarties on cakes. Yeah, that's what we do. Our birthday cakes got to have some Smarties. Yes, I love this. Look at the card it comes, but it's short there, but this is all shiny, shiny red. That's beautiful. Thank you, Carol. I can't wait to look. I'm gonna use that as my reading tonight. I'm gonna read those cookbooks. And then I'll probably pack them away with this. And when I break them out at the end of November, <coughs> I'll have new books to look at. Oh, this is from Marquis. He, he will have this. <coughs> oh, I got a tickle. It's Starbucks hot cocoa. Yes, you don't know, but he loves this. He loves hot chocolate. He'll have this for sure. Yeah. You got a teenager gift right, absolutely. Marquis, a.k.a. teenager. Well, when I first started doing this, he didn't want to be filmed at all. He didn't want me saying his name or anything. So I got used to saying, oh, my teenager. And then a few months ago, he's like, why don't you say my name? I'm like, you don't ever want me to say your name. He's like, I don't care. So I'm just try starting to transition into saying his name. <laughs> but there's a present here for Maze. When I get home from school, I'll get them to open it. Maziah. Misha, Mally, and Evie. Yes, Evie will be here after. I have to pick them up around supper time. So, yeah, I'll put these right back in the box. And when the girls get home and Maze gets home, they can have a nice surprise to come home to. That's wonderful. Thank you, Carol. That's so kind. Wow, this is great. I totally feel lifted. I do. I feel so much better. Not that I was totally down earlier, but it was just my whole day just went to heck in a handbasket. So that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. And I'm okay with it because I know the rest of this month is going to be perfect. <clears throat> I, I think I had a day like this back in December and I said, oh, the rest of the month's going to be great. And it was. It was. And tomorrow... Like I said, I'm already assuming school's going to be canceled. So if it does, 
I will sleep in on purpose, not on accident. <laughs> I am going to pack their lunches today, though, just in case school is not canceled. So I won't have to get up. Thank goodness I had that ready this morning because, yeah, that was bonkers. So anyways, I'll uh, I'll be back in a little bit. And yeah, it's 110. I'm going to dig those sausages out and cut them up. And I just need to boil pasta. i got to make sure I have pasta, first of all. If it's not spaghetti, maybe it'll be macaroni or whatever. But I'll be back. All right, guys. I know this is going to be a long video because I was just yakking, but you guys know how I can get sometimes. I just want to cut up some of those sausages. I have a can of Hunt's. What kind is this? Roasted garlic and herb. And a tomato soup. I think I have another can of pasta sauce if I need it. I have a pot of hot water. Well, it's not hot yet. I found a package of spaghetti. And this is just going to be a concoction. Just putting some salt in the pasta water. And I'm going to end up just doing it all in this frying pan. Keeping it simple. I put the sausages in one of these chicken tender things. My husband uh, brought chicken tenders home last night, which of course got gobbled up in the evening. And I just put the leftover sausages in this. Um, I'm just going to cut them up coin style and put them in the pan just to warm them up with the sauce. And then when the noodles are done, I'll strain them, drop them in there. And I don't know if I have any cheese. I put it over top. Could be a freezer meal. Most meals that people make can be freezer meals. They just don't make them freezer meals because they don't need to. But <clears throat> yeah, it's 127 now. Still only early for supper, but I want to do it while I can do it. A few other goals for this month. And they're simple, simple little goals. But things like I don't do all the time. I want to clean my oven really good. The glass on my door in my oven, there's a corner out of it. I rolled up a piece of tin foil and stuck it in there just to try to keep the heat even. Maybe that's why my oven doesn't heat properly. I have to rotate pans. Uh, I'm assuming you can replace that. That's something I want to do. I want to do my bulletin board. I want to do on top of the fridge, for goodness sakes. That's always a cluttery spot. It only takes a day or so for it to get cluttered, but that's where I put flyers and books. That's where I hid my new pack of pens up there. Um, just things like that. Go through the kids' clothes, ones that are too small. I do a lot of hand-me-downs, so stuff that doesn't fit Mally could go to Mazaya if she wants it. Same with Mazaya can go to Misha. Mays can go to Evie. That sort of thing. Nothing wrong with hand-me-downs. And whenever I buy new clothes, most of the time it's from Frenchies or like a thrift store. Now, Mally got a few new clothes this Christmas that was from, like, new. But, yeah. Clothes can be expensive, especially when you have more than one to buy for. And Frenchies is a great place. You know, when I buy new shoes... <clears throat> For school, I usually buy those new. But Frenchies, like the winter boots that I'm wearing now, uh, were from Frenchies I bought for the girls. I can wear Mazaya shoes now. Like when I take a size seven. Mazaya takes, well, Mazaya has really wide feet, so she can fit those boots, but she already has a pair of boots. So the boots I'm wearing look like little girl pink boots. That's what I'm wearing, but they keep my feet warm. I'm not any kind of a fashion statement kind of person. And they were probably like two bucks from Frenchies. So you can't beat that for that. <clears throat> well, that's all the sausages. There wasn't a whole, I don't know, was that five or six, something like that? Uh, I'll turn that on. I mean, they're already cooked, but I just want to warm up, warm up the stuff. But yeah, my. 
another goal, like well, like I said, the freezers. I know I have stuff in there I can make. I need to make more keto meals. I have a couple of those breakfast ones left. I probably have something in there from a while ago I made that got lost in the mix. But I have stuff I can make keto meals with, and I want to do canning. I feel like canning. I need to can some more corn. Whew. I just cleaned my stove top, so that's probably what that smoke's from. I want to can some more peas. And I usually just can frozen, frozen stuff. I can't wait. Well, I can wait. Not that I'm trying to rush time away, but this summer, or like late summer, I'm going to be canning a whack of tomatoes if I can get my hands on some because I'm pretty well out of my home canned tomato sauce. I think I have two jars down there. Last time I canned tomatoes wasn't last year. I think it was the year before. And I canned like 300 pounds of tomatoes. I made a whack of tomato sauce. Some cans of like whole tomatoes with in water and then whole tomatoes without water. You can do it without water. Or like I cut them in half so they weren't whole. But, you know. I just want to get this sauce warmed up. And it's kind of like spaghetti and meatballs, only it's spaghetti and sausage coins. <laughs> and if I have cheese, you can just smother it with cheese and everything looks better with cheese melted on top. But, yeah, I'm going to get this going. This won't take long to make. And that sausage is all used up. And I have like four or five packs of hot Italian sausage in the freezer downstairs. When my son takes those speakers wherever he needs to take them, I'll be able to get into the deep freezer up here. I mean, I could move them or tell him to move them, but for tonight, it's okay. But, yeah, we'll see. I don't know who's there, but when they party, they party. Oh, so... Anyways, I'll get this going. When I strain the spaghetti, I'll bring it back out. Oh, another, I should, other goals. I need to think of some goals. Things, I mean, there's always stuff I want to do around here. I want to get my cameras all clean, which I do the basic cleaning every day, just about. Well, I do. You know, I clean my stove top, clean my sink, clean the work surfaces, but really, really get down and dirty. Uh, just things things and oftentimes I, I watch videos for inspiration like when I watch I was just watching a Jade Morrell video earlier because she does I love her videos when she does big batch cooking like freezer meals and stuff she just she seems like a really nice person there's a lot of great people I know uh, one of you mentioned Amy Marin I think that's what her name is and I've seen a few of her videos she's really good too she does she has a big family and does lots of freezer freezer meals and yeah I just watch people for inspiration for cleaning I love that British series uh, obsessive compulsive cleaners and I've watched that probably the past couple of years like the whole series at least the ones that are on YouTube um, just the before and after it's really good I love Kim and Aggie how clean is your house just things like that such an extreme from one to the other it really kickstart something in me and yeah anyways this is warming up just wait for the noodles and I'll be back all right I just dropped those noodles in I have a couple of towels to hang up here and I might get another load going with some bedding I just shut those noodles off they're 98 percent done uh, yeah that doesn't look all that appeasing does it no but I'm gonna strain that in just a second Drop it in here, mix it up, and yeah, we'll do something with it after that. All right, all dropped in. Now I gotta mix it up. All right, it's mixed up. I'm gonna throw some Parmesan in there, mix that up too. And I don't have any hard cheese, but yeah, I still have leftover cheese slices. I think I'm gonna put some of those on top after it's all mixed up, put a lid on the pan, and just let it melt down in. I'm trying to use those up. Remember, I don't know, last week I made grilled cheese for supper. This is the leftovers, and yeah, I wanna get rid of them. There's the Parmesan. All mixed up. Now the cheese slices. 
fancy, huh? So I'm going to put a lid on it. The burner's off, but the stuff is hot, so it should melt down a bit. All right, friends, it's 2.23. I just unloaded my phone, so that'll save a whack of time later. I'm just going to check this. Well, that doesn't look too bad, I guess. Yeah, a scoop of that, and if they want more Parmesan on it or whatever. And I got some veggie sticks in there they can have along with it if they want, or they can have that later, or whatever. But I used up my cheese slices, I used up the sausages, and yeah, I had the spaghetti and sauce uh, in the pantry, so I'm using stuff up. So hip hip hooray. It's 2.33, getting the dishwasher going. And I'm going to sit down and have a carbonated water. I got my water. I'm going to ask the kids to fold that laundry for me. It's a whole whack of towels, mainly, like from the drying racks. But, yeah, I'm not messing with that, tangling with that monster today. No, I'm not. Oh, I've just seen the bus drive by the window, so the girls are coming in the door any second now. They're out there chatting. I'm done my water. We'll see how their day is. How was school? How was school? Amazing song. What song? No, you're okay. Ryan. Well, how was school, Mish? Um, you guys have a package to open from a subscriber, but wait, 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 Mally, wait. You guys, before you do that, you need to fold that monster over there. What monster? The laundry monster. Nope. Then you got a Christmas present to open. Nope. So you want to open it? Get folding. It's mostly towels. Different. There they go. We'll see how long it takes them. This is my only thing I'm doing. Stop, Mally. Mom, what? Soon it's gonna be blanket and book day. I seen. And guess what I'm bringing? I know your new blanket. And I think if I think we might be allowed to bring. Like my, like PJ? So no, I'm there's just... PJ day at the end of the month. I've oh, seen like, the calendar. I, if we are allowed, can I just pack them just in case? No, it's not PJ day. It'll be just oh. uh, blanket day. But PJ day is in this month. All right, I'll show you the end results, guys. All right. Well, they pretty well did it. I told them they could leave the socks, so we'll go get the parcel. But first, girls, stand up for a second. No. Nope. Can you guys floss? Yeah. What? Because these presents came from Flossy. Wait, really? So Floss, yeah. <laughs> sure thing. <laughs> Come on. Mm. Oh, I'll play Santa Claus. This one is for. Me? No. Yeah, Mazaya. I was right. This one is. I think Maze and Evie have the same style. This one is for Misha. This like must that. be for Mally. I think this is a pedicle. I don't know. Can open? You can open it, yeah. I knew this would be cool. Ooh. Oh, oh look at those colors. Matching. What do you guys say to Flossie? Thank you. That's really no, nice, and that's perfect. Give you a big floss. Give, yeah, a big floss. Yes. That's okay. perfect, because these guys... Go through hats and mitts and gloves and all that stuff all the time. You can put them right in your jacket pocket if you want. Yeah, perfect. She got the colors correct for all of us. Yes. Black and dark colors. Yeah. I like purple and white and blue mostly. Yeah. These are still their There. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, they'll match your jackets and stuff. Yeah, just put the paper by the fire. No, out by the fire, because so when we start a fire, we'll just light her up. All right, the girls want something to eat now, so now he's going to take over the camera. Hot. Ooh, it's kind of still warm. When you're hungry, this is what you do. You scare it's cheesy, cheesy. Melted cheese slices on top. I know. It's a bit different, but we had them to use up, so I'm trying to get a couple more sausages in there. 
Perfect. Nice. All right. That is beautiful. You want Parmesan on it, Zoe? There's some already mixed up in it, so. All right, perfect. Well, Maze just got home. Look at the suspenders Papa got them. These ones fit them. You look so dapper, Maze. <laughs> yeah, the ones you had were too too big. You'd have to grow into them, but. Do you know how to floss? Do you remember what that is? Yeah, do it good, do it good. <laughs> Our friend Flossie sent you something. Sent you something, Aunt Abby something. But. Yeah. Yeah, you go open it up. Go sit on the floor and open it. Oh, my teenager's here too. He's out there dishing up some food. Did you have anything to eat at Papa's house? Oh, what is it? Paw Patrol. Is it markers or crayons? Oh, big fat crayons. Awesome. What do you say to Flossie? <laughs> All right, guys. Marquise really liked his hot chocolate too, Flossie. He wouldn't do the floss for me, but... And he brought out my other parcel all the way from Australia from my friend Samantha. But I'm going to open it tomorrow just because this has been long enough. And Samantha, I hope everything is going well in Australia. And my friend Cheryl... I'm really praying for you guys with all the bushfires and stuff. All my prayer warriors out there, I hope that you're praying for all the people and wildlife and everything um, in Australia. It's uh, quite something. Um, yeah. So, anyways, I think I'm going to end this video now. The dishwasher's going. Everybody's had supper. My husband's not home yet, but there's still a little bit of that left. But my son was like, make sure you save me some of that. Uh, yeah. So, this will probably be gone by tonight. We'll see, but yeah, it's about quarter to five. I'm gonna spin out and get Evie soon, but I think I'm gonna end it now, and that way I can get it edited and uploaded. I need to get my son to fill up the wood box, and I wanna get everybody settled. In case we do have, get walloped by a snowstorm, or not. But uh, thanks for bearing with me, guys. I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer sometimes, but it's just, it was that kind of a start to a day. But you guys totally turned me around. Uh, just sitting there chit-chatting, having some tea, opening some friend mail and stuff. That was fantastic. It really was. So I'm feeling so much better now. I really am. And, you know, supper was easy. It wasn't a freezer meal, but it wasn't hard at all, so it was good. So I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay, too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So... All right, guys, well, I'll keep you updated tomorrow. I plan on filming and everything, so have a good night or have a good morning, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye! Boink.